Okay, Speed City fans, I'm delighted to welcome to the show David Abrivio, who is the team manager for the Suzuki MotoGP team, which will be entering into MotoGP in 2015. But they're here in Austin testing um, for next year. I guess, Davide, uh, welcome to Austin. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the, on the track, first of all? Uh, hello, ciao to everybody. Uh, yeah, this track, this uh, circuit is fantastic. I mean, the, 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 the layout is fantastic and the, the facility are fantastic. Maybe, in my opinion, is a little bit too much for Formula One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think uh, we might need some small adjustment to make uh, better for MotoGP, but I see that all the riders like uh, the, the layout and enjoy riding here, so probably it will remain like it is. Mm -hmm. But it's anyway a fantastic, a fantastic uh, circuit, unbelievable, yes. So you're here with Suzuki. What has been the motivation to get Suzuki back into the MotoGP class? Yeah, that's a good question. I went back to the factory and I asked that to the management. <laughs> and I'm, I'm very happy that they, uh, they decided to come back because after uh, Suzuki stopped MotoGP in 2011, and this gave a great opportunity to redesign the bike and to plan the came back. Basically, MotoGP, the company is missing MotoGP as far as concerned brand promotion, as far as concerned developing technology. Because one of the, the idea to ra the purpose of to race in MotoGP is to develop, to develop technology that one day might be available for the regular customer on a production bikes. And so in a competition, this is the, 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 the where you really have to make a big effort on technology. So this is few reasons why uh, Suzuki has decided to come back. And also, you know, it's important to be with the race fan to be in the public, in the competition with our competitors. And so I'm, I'm very happy that uh, Suzuki decided to come back and I'm very happy that they gave to me this opportunity. And in terms of how you come back into the championship, with the new rules, how will Suzuki benefit? Will you come in as full factory and therefore be the same as Honda or will you come in like Ducati and have a chance to have open rules because of the, the fact that you've been away? Yeah, uh, we will be a factory, so we will come as a factory team, but due to the latest uh, <coughs> regulation that has just changed uh, a few weeks ago, we will have the, some benefit that Ducati has, mm. so we will have some small help because we will be a new manufacturer, and therefore we will be under a factory option because we will develop our own software, so the software is our technology, but... We can have 24 liter on a fuel tank, we can have the extra soft tire, we mm. can have 12 engines and so on. So all this uh, helps. And this will be anyway only for 2015, because in 2016 has been decided that everybody will have the same, let's say, standard software, Dorna software, whatever we, call, we will call. And so also all the other... Uh, all the other conditions, I think they will be probably put same and equal. So we won't have an open car class? <clears throat> I don't know. Depend on the organizer, what they mm. want to do. But it looks like uh, probably as far as concerned, at least the factory team, we should go back on regular uh, equal situation as far as concerned. Liter on a fuel tank, tires, uh, number of engines, and so on. So if all those changes are going to be made in 2016, then why aren't you just waiting until then to come in? Uh, because it would be too long, too long waiting. Actually, we, we started this uh, testing campaign last year in 2013, planning to be back in 2014. Then due to the electronic, that is quite complicated to develop, and uh, so we decided to postpone one more year in order to, to have more time to prepare. So the 2015 is, is already one year delay, so we don't want to delay more, so mm. we will come back in 2015. It's true that now we, we're doing a lot of job, a lot, we're making a big effort on the electronic, and we last for only one year, but that's, that's the way. Anyway... The, this know-how, this technology will remain inside the factory for the future. So far, Randy Depunier has been the 
rider attached to the team. Will that remain so? Is he going to be your lead rider? Mm-hmm. And, and and what if can, whatever can you tell us about the lineup and, and the management system for 2015? Uh, Randy has worked with us uh, last year, 2013, and he's with us also in 2014, and he's uh, a test rider at the moment. He's doing a very good job. We're very happy about his comments, uh, and uh, we're making a step forward with his... Uh, work. For next year we don't have yet any rider line up or any strategy about the riders. We, we want to see how the market moves and of course uh, Randy is one of the, of the hmm. potential candidates but nothing is decided about that. So we will see in the coming weeks the rider market will probably start to, to make some actions, some movement and uh, so we are there. I mean we hope um, we can get uh, also one top rider because it will be important to, to express all our potential. But it's a little bit of dilemma. We need a top rider, but also we need to convince top rider to come to us yeah, yeah. because we are a rookie factory. So we see, we try to do our best. So between now and whenever you're able to get on the starting grid, what's the biggest thing that you think that you need to accomplish to be fully prepared to have a top level race bike? We work in a lot on the electronic, and this is the probably most difficult job at the moment. Uh, but on the, on the same time, we also work on the mechanical parts of the bike, uh, the chassis and the engine. And in this moment, so the priority is to develop electronic, to make the engine faster, and uh, to, to make the bike uh, stable and with good end training in a corner and, uh, and so on. So we're working on all these three areas, bringing some development through the year, because during this year we will continue to do more testing. We will go to Argentina, same as now in Austin after the race, we will go to Phillip Island and then back to Europe. We will join all the other teams on Monday after Catalonia Grand Prix, and this will be very important to compare our performance with all the, the other regular team. So we will continue to test and we will see, we try to get ready. And do you think, given that you are looking for two good options, obviously it's a factory entry, you need good riders, um, would you, obviously Randy's in there, but would you give an opportunity maybe to maybe a Eugene Laverty, somebody like that who's obviously interested in, in MotoGP, rides for Suzuki at the moment, um, I'm thinking, and, and obviously there's several other riders I could name, but is that your intention or will you just stick with, with Randy to develop? Mm. Eugene is now part of our family and uh, we, I think we, we will give him some opportunity to test our machine later on in the year. And uh, so yeah, he's doing, he's doing good. Yeah. Uh, he did a good race in Phillip Island, a little bit more difficult in, in Aragon, but uh, I mean, it's, uh, I think he's probably one of the, the, the top rider in, in the world superbike that might make a jump. Yeah. Uh, here actually a comeback for him yes, because he was in 250 yeah, yeah. and uh, so yeah we we working closely with Paul Denning of course we are in close contacts and uh, yeah it's a, it's a part of a family and mm. we're looking forward to to finding maybe a good chance to to do something together perfect well listen always good to see you um, what's the biggest thing you've learned finally out of Austin do you think just in the testing, the, the biggest learning thing for the bike here in Austin? Uh, as I say, we are developing electronic, but also this test is very important because we needed to collect information for next year. So when we will come back next year racing, we will be more prepared. We know the track because Suzuki never been here. So that is the, one of the main reasons to come to know the circuit and uh, hopefully uh, try to do a good race next year. It sounds like you and the rest of the Suzuki team is doing everything possible to be as competitive as you can be whenever you come in on the, on the grid next year. So we are definitely anxious to see how your progress goes. So thank you for coming on and talking to us. Thank you to you and ciao to everybody. And as they say in your country, un bocco lupo. <laughs> Crepi lupo. <laughs>